Morocco, land of uh, vibrant souks, stunning deserts and ancient cities. Uh, but beneath the surface of this North African nation lies a harsh truth. Uh, Morocco is a kingdom divided, while luxurious resorts cater to wealthy tourists and elites, uh, millions of Moroccans struggle in poverty. The gap between rich and poor uh, is, is vast and, and growing wider. This isn't just an economic issue, it's a moral crisis. It's a stain on uh, the soul of a nation. The statistics are alarming. The World Bank estimates that nearly 20% of Moroccans live below the poverty line. That's one in five people struggling to uh, afford basic necessities like uh, food, water and shelter. Meanwhile, a select few uh, enjoy lavish lifestyles. Their wealth often shielded from scrutiny. This economic disparity uh, is a recipe for instability, uh, breeding resentment and fueling social unrest. It's a ticking time bomb uh, that threatens to unravel the social fabric of Morocco. Um, journey beyond uh, uh, the uh, gleaming facades of Morocco cities uh, and uh, you'll encounter a different reality. In the vast rural uh, areas, uh, poverty is uh, not just a statistic, it's a way of life. Uh, here, families scratch out a living from the unforgiving land, uh, their future is precarious. Their dreams of, often deferred. The lack of basic infrastructure is a constant burden. Imagine a life without uh, reliable access to clean water, electricity or health care. This is the daily reality for millions of rural Moroccans. Children walk miles uh, to school only to find overcrowded classrooms and a lack of uh, basic supplies. Farmers struggle to irrigate their crops, their livelihoods uh, at the mercy of uh, unpredictable weather patterns. The absence of decent roads uh, isolates uh, communities, uh, hindering economic opportunities and access to essential services. This isn't just about infrastructure, it's about dignity. It's about providing every Moroccan citizen with the opportunity to thrive regardless of where, where they live. Education, they say, is the key to a brighter future. But uh, in Morocco, the quality of education your child receives uh, depends heavily uh, on the size of your wallet. For the wealthy elite, uh, private schools offer world-class facilities, experienced teachers, and a pathway to, situ to uh, prestigious universities. These children are groomed for success from a young age, their future seemingly uh, preordained. But for children in impoverished communities, the educational landscape is bleak, uh, overcrowded classrooms, outdated textbooks, and a shortage of qualified teachers are the norm. Many children drop out before completing primary school, forced to work to support their families. This two-tiered system perpetuates the cycle of uh, poverty, denying countless children uh, the opportunity to reach their full potential. It's a betrayal of uh, Morocco's future, a squandered opportunity to build a more uh, equitable and prosperous society. Um, the uh, Moroccan government uh, loves to uh, talk a big game about uh, job creation uh, and economic growth, but for millions of Moroccans, uh, these promises uh, ring uh, hollow. Unemployment, uh, particularly among young people, is rampant. Uh, those lucky enough to find work are often stuck in low-paying, insecure jobs uh, with few prospects uh, for advancement. The government's economic policies have done little to address uh, the root causes of unemployment, uh, corruption, bureaucratic inefficiency, and a lack of investment in key sectors have stifled economic growth. Instead of uh, creating uh, sustainable jobs, the government has resorted to temporary programs that offer little long-term security. This isn't just bad economics, it's a recipe for social unrest. When young people are denied a stake in their country's future, they become disillusioned, 
frustrated and more susceptible to extremism. The government needs to wake up and smell the mint tea brewing revolution. Um, Section 5, the king's shadow, uh, wealth, power and public scrutiny. King Mohammed VI uh, casts a long shadow uh, over uh, Morocco. Uh, he is um, credited with uh, social and political reforms, uh, but uh, criticized for his vast wealth and economic control. Uh, his fortune is um, in the billions, um, making him one of the wealthiest monarchs. Critics argue this wealth contributes uh, to economic inequality. Uh, they accuse him of um, benefiting a select few uh, at the expense of many. Uh, uh, Section 6, drowning in debt, a looming threat to Morocco's future. Morocco's economic woes are compounded by a growing debt crisis. Uh, the government has been on a borrowing spree, uh, racking up huge debts. Concerns about corruption and mismanagement persist. The debt to GDP ratio is rising, alarming economists. Growing debt means higher servicing costs. This reduces funds for essential services. It limits responses to economic shocks. Morocco risks falling into a debt trap. This could lead to economic stagnation and social unrest. Section 7. The price of inequality, social unrest and a crisis of trust. Uh, Morocco's growing economic inequality is not just a statistic, uh, it's a powder keg uh, waiting to explode. The frustration and anger of the marginalized masses are palpable. Protests over unemployment, corruption and the rising cost of living have become increasingly common. The government's response to these protests has uh, often been heavy-handed, uh, further fueling resentment. Instead of addressing the legitimate grievances of um, its citizens, the government has resorted to repression, silencing dissent, and cracking down uh, on activists. This approach is unsustainable and counterproductive. It only deepens the divisions within Moroccan society and undermines the uh, legitimacy uh, of the state when uh, people feel that their their voices uh, are, are not being heard they are more likely to resort to uh, desperate measures um, section eight um, a call to action urgent reforms for a more equitable morocco morocco stands at a crossroads um, it can continue down the path uh, of um, economic uh, inequality and social unrest uh, or it can choose a different future. Uh, the time for half measures and empty promises is over. What Morocco needs is a bold and comprehensive plan to address the root causes of its economic woes. This plan must prioritize job creation, particularly for young people. It must invest in education and training uh, providing all, all uh, Moroccans with uh, the skills they need uh, to compete uh, in the global economy. It must tackle corruption head-on, uh, ensuring that uh, public funds are used for the benefit of all citizens, not just a privileged few. And it must empower civil society, creating a space for open dialogue and constructive criticism. Section 9. A Glimmer of Hope the power of Moroccan resilience. Despite the challenges facing Morocco, uh, there is still hope. Uh, the Moroccan people are renowned for their resilience, uh, uh, their warmth and uh, their entrepreneurial spirit. They have a long and proud history of overcoming adversity. The country is blessed with uh, abundant natural resources, a strategic location, and a young and dynamic population. With the right leadership, the right policies, and a renewed commitment to social justice, Morocco can uh, turn its, uh, its economic fortunes around. But the clock is ticking. Uh, the time for action is now. The future uh, of Morocco hangs in the balance.